this is cute. We get to interview each other. <laughs> right, I know. It's fun. It is fun. I love to chat with another housewife from a different city. I want to get their perspective on, you know, their franchise. So I'm super excited. And you know, Dallas is, you know, I could, I could have been on Dallas. I mean, I have the, I have the big hair. Or Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could see me on Atlanta. I could throw down with those girls. I have met Margaret before. I met her at the Fountain Blue in Miami, and she had her cute little pigtails. I yeah, we met in Miami by happenstance, yes. which was so funny. Right. I was caught in the rain, and you and Steph were coming on to the beach. And I was actually wearing one of her cover-ups that I carry on my online shop. That she carries on Brandy <laughs> Which was great, and we yes. met there. Yes, and we met another time at an OK Magazine yes. party. OK, so do you have any crazy stories with another housewife from another city that happened? Well, the only other crazy story I kind of have, the first time I had went to a housewife party my first season, we were all there. I was with um, Danielle, Ramona, Dorinda, and Sonia. And, you know, I didn't know a lot about Sonia. And I love her, and she's so adorable and fabulous. But I, I have these two girls that work with me, Lexi and Janine. And they're like my little sisters. And we're having a great night. And Sonia's, you know, cocktailing it up. And, and I think she's so adorable. But she starts to try and make out with Janine. <laughs> and I was just like, Sonia, well, well, I mean, Jesus. But we found it very entertaining. You know, yeah. I think it's hilarious. You I know, she was, she was super cute. So, you know, I was a little offended she didn't try and make out with me, but it's fine. Sonia, it's OK. You prefer the brunettes. I'm over it. I'll make out with you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so what's the best piece of advice Andy Cohen has ever given you? Oh, gosh. You know, um, in the beginning, when I first started, I, we had finished um, mm -hmm. taping a Watch What Happens Live, and then he, he turned around and came back and told me to come here. And I walked over there, and he said, whatever you do, tell your husband to stay off social media because <laughs> it'll just get you in more trouble. And I didn't listen. And of course, I went and read everything everybody said. And I would it, try to communicate back. <laughs> and so, but he was right because, I mean, it just kind of gets in your head space. And so just to leave that at the door and let people have their opinions and just be yourself. Yes, it's true. Did your husband go on social media? Um, he has a Twitter, but it's mm -hmm. like he watched, he follows sports and stuff. So, but not an Instagram or Facebook. Oh or yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so funny. My husband goes on social media. And I was, he follows like female plumbers. I'm like, what are you doing, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, because he's the real super Joe. And then I see him following these hot girls. They're female plumbers because they follow him. I'm like, relax. I'm like, I don't need these girls taking screenshots of Joe saying, hey, great pipe, da 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 I'm like, it's, it's suspicious. I'm like, take it easy. Andy told me, Marge, just stay your authentic self. Just be real. People, fans could smell fake, which I agree. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, just stay true to yourself and, and everything will work out. And I feel like, it, you know, it has. Right. I think for both of us, it really, right, yeah. you know, we've been very, very lucky. What do you think the best part of, like, sharing this experience with your friends on the show is? Do I have friends on the show? <laughs> <laughs> I feel yeah. like you and Steph are so yeah, close. Yeah, so Stephanie and I, well, we, we're always just a ball of fun. And we are, I will admit it, that we're very immature and people like to tell us that and we own it. But um, And I think that's probably one of the best things is sharing the experience with each other. I mean, we had our children together and then just, you know, doing the show has just been, I mean, just a unique experience. Well, you know what? The fun part is I made new friends on the show because the one person I was connected to is no longer on it with me. Not that we're so close to start out with anyway. Because Melissa and I get along great. We have great times together. To be honest, Dolores and I are, have bonded better. So I love to have a good time because I love to do great girl stuff. So you, you're probably really a girl's girl then. Yes, I'm totally a girl's girl. I, I am, even though some people, you know, accuse me of not being a girl's girl, I am a girl's girl. Yeah, I just like to make a lot of humor. I have a lot of, you know, <laughs> silliness that I add to it. So, yeah. but yeah, and sometimes people just, you know, they don't get me and I get it. I Because they don't have to. Yeah, exactly. I think that's the way. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. You know, I think that's the people don't get us because everything should be funny. Yeah. Why can't really we just make be. fun of sh? I don't know yeah. what, the, what the issue is with everything. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Are there any secrets to being a housewife that viewers and fans might not know or realize? Um, well, I think my secret is um, don't drink. <laughs> don't you feel like no one wants to eat on camera? Because they're like, oh, don't don't eat on camera. No one wants to look gross eating on camera. But I think, A, you should eat on camera if you're a housewife because, they, you know, everybody's drinking. So if you drink on an empty stomach, you could be more of a train wreck, correct? Oh, I've been there. Trust me. <laughs> and, I, and I don't really drink alcohol, so I'm very lucky. Right. So I think that's, that's the good secret to be a good housewife. You just adopted a son. What right. made you decide to adopt? to some because you have you have your own children yeah I know exactly well mm -hmm. it's crazy because I never thought about adopting 
at all. My parents had three children and they adopted when we got a little bit older. It's a very crazy feeling that I had because I always thought like, why are y'all doing this? My parents had us so young. You're finally gonna be on your own and have this time to yourselves. And then there was kind of starting all over again. It's very funny because we always wanted a boy and Stephanie texts me randomly right after New Year's and mm -hmm. said, do you want to adopt a baby boy? And so I looked at it and I responded and I said, a dog or a human? <laughs> and they had been trying to find him a home. He was born on um, New Year's Eve. I finally understood what my parents felt and what they went through. And I think that, you know, God, it's like whatever you fear, whatever you think, he's just gonna hand it to you and make you face it. I know, that makes me love too, really. Yeah, oh, That's oh, actually very you. sweet. That's oh, so sweet. You. I'm so happy for thank you and your you. family. That's actually very, very sweet. Aw, uh -huh. Margaret. And no, no, that's very nice. I'd, lo I'd love to hear a good story like that. Oh, can I ask you a question? So of course. I'm just, so is there a backstory on the pigtails? Because I love it. Oh, uh, okay. I'm like, it's so funny. And I always say this story, and everyone's like, yeah, it's not true. I went to a party at Joan Rivers' house, and she was like, you know, you keep those pigtails, they make you very different. She goes, you're not like every other blonde in the room, and you stand out. She goes, don't ever change who you are. I said, you're right. And it's and they just work on me. And and then now people write to me, it's him all for pigtails, you this or that. I was like, no, no. You know, I'm quirky, it's kooky, but the little pigtails work. Crazy span encounter. encounter. Oh, one showed up at my house when we were having a, a cookout. And we were swimming and cooking out, and one showed up at my house, and yeah, it was just kind of crazy. Oh, God. I well, of course, me, I took two fans to lunch, and they were young, and they got totally wasted, and they were, like, running up the barbell. I was like, all right, relax. <laughs> you could have dinner, dinner with, with any celeb, celeb dead, dead or alive. Who would, would it be? be? I would have to say Marilyn Monroe, because I really want to know. Did the Kennedys kill her? She was so glamorous. What was the story? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I want to know. What's the story there, Marilyn? What is your current celebrity crush? Oh, well... Other than Andy, it's obviously Steve X Gold. <laughs> oh, Steve. <laughs> I know, he's very cute, oh, Steve He's Gold. really cute. I'll have to say Bradley Cooper. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that I don't want to do a Bravo Liberty, but Bradley Cooper, because he's in that movie with Lady Gaga, and he can actually sing, too. Oh. Hot. Least favorite housewife. Least favorite housewife? I mean, if that's not easy Ouch. for me. Oh. <laughs> what about you? You know, um, we know who yours is. Yeah, you know who mine is. You could say it. Sorry, Leanne. If it could be any other Bravo show, what would it be? If it could be on any other Bravo show, what would I'd it be? I'd be on Vanderpump Rules because I'd really like to just get sloppy and, you know. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> What's What's the, the most romantic thing anyone has ever done for you? One time we stayed at a hotel together. Um, the Bowery, we used to stay there when we were having our tour of Love Fair. It was snowing, it was a snowstorm, but it was puddles, puddles, puddles. And we had to get in a taxi and it was huge puddles. Of course, I had my high heels on and he didn't want me to step in the puddle, so he stepped in it with his like boots on and so I could step on his foot to get in the cab. Oh, that's so sweet. I was like, I'm totally marrying this guy. How did you feel after your very first reunion? Oh, yeah, that was a hard one. I felt, you know what, I did feel like a little bit defeated, you know, like a little bit like, oh, you know, run down. <laughs> Really, I, I felt energized. <laughs> I actually, I was like, that's not so bad. So if you were doing a Housewives All-Star, what would be your Housewife All-Star pick? Oh, gosh. I would pick you. Of course. Powerhouse and Pigtails. Powerhouse and Pigtails. Um, let's see. Sonia, just because that's hilarious if she wants to make out with people. Oh, gosh. Maybe Candy? Can Candy's good. She's a power powerhouse and, you know, Candy? vibrators. Yeah. Vibrating powerhouse. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Erica Jane. Mm -hmm. I think Erica Jane. Erica Jane. But I was thinking, of course, because I, I have my, my dream team. Of course, it would be Brandy. Oh, you're so Because you're like, even though it has to be all blondes for me, it's you. You're special because we need our power red at the head. And then it would be me, of course. And then it would be Dorinda. And then it would be Tamara, because she's blonde. And then it would be Erica Jane. And then it would be... Giselle from Potomac. And then Nini always wears a blonde wig or something. So yeah. I would have all this, because we're like all killers. You know yeah. what I mean? We could like be tough girls. Or, so it'd have to be like the powerful blondes, and then it'd be you, like you could be in the middle, like with oh the God. flaming red hair, and then like, it could be all amazing. Yeah. We should have like a Housewives Olympics, maybe. <laughs> I think we should we should approach that. We should approach the network yeah. with it, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Yay! Yay, it was so great chatting with you. I'm so, so great excited. seeing you. Bye. Mwah. I could be on Dallas. Yeah, you could. Enough? Yeah. All right, good. Yeah. <laughs>